top story here tonight is new details from the shooting in Louisville, Kentucky. Police have just released brand new video and pictures, and we want to advise you here that some of these may be hard to watch. The new images show the gunman inside of the downtown bank as he storms that building armed with a large gun. Body camera video from police shows him storming the scene right there as the shooter fires outside to keep them all at bay. Now, five died and eight people were hurt in yesterday's massacre at that bank. Police shot and killed the gunman. And we're also learning now where he got his gun. Our Madison Scarpino is in Louisville tonight with more of these details for us. Madison? Tim, investigators say that the 25-year-old suspect who was a current employee at Old National Bank legally bought the AR-15 rifle used in the attack. And the shooter bought that gun at a dealership here in Louisville less than a week before the killings. And we're also learning the police officer who was shot in the head remains in critical condition. And one of the doctors treating some of the survivors says that there are still three people in their care. And today, people dropping off flowers and notes on the staircase of the now boarded up Old National Bank. Police are calling yesterday's shooting a targeted act of violence. All five of the victims were colleagues of the suspect at the bank. And the killer worked at the bank for two years and had three prior internships there. Police say the suspect was live streaming the attack on social media. And investigators searched the suspect's house but would not share any detail as this investigation continues. Community leaders still trying to make sense of all of this and are pleading for change. This isn't about partisan politics. This is about life and death. This is about preventing tragedies. You may think this will never happen to you, never happen to any of your friends or loved ones. I used to think that. The sad truth is that now no one in our city, no one in our state, no one in our country has that luxury anymore. And Tim, uh, the city is planning a vigil for tomorrow night to honor these victims. In Louisville, Kentucky, Madison Scarpino, Fox 9. All right, Madison. And with time.